Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, the man, that, or I should say, the conductor to the train of long shots, uh, the, the train that goes to Longshot City. You guys know what I'm talking about. Tickets to Longshot City, you know? Last episode, we did well. It went really well. It was beautiful. We had some banging goals from the lads in the last epi, and I want to continue that type of amazing form that we have seen within the squad. Alexander Isak currently dominating in terms of goals our defense has been strong i've been really enjoying every single player in this team but one player specifically has been very quiet and his name is orellano we need him to step up we need him to go ahead and get some goals get some assists he has been very quiet so this episode we'll see how he does we're currently in that first position four points ahead of dortmund leipzig has been overtaken by me by munich has been overtaken by Nagelsmann and he is in that third position. He's not doing as well as we are and I love to see that. Now in this episode guys, what we're going to try and do is we're going to get past all of these matchups in November right at the beginning of the episode and then we're going to go ahead and get past Hertha as well and then it's going to be Napoli coming up. But Augsburg, the team that we're up against today is actually seventh. So we're going to have to take them a little bit more serious. We can't just sim it. We're going to jump into the game we're going to try and score some goals and then let the rest sim out if we are successful enough. Unless we might have to go ahead and play it entirely. But guys, if you are enjoying this episode, if you are enjoying the uh, Coach to Glory, make sure to support it by hitting that like button and subscribe to, uh, down low, right? Subscribe to me. That would be very nice. Uh, let's get ourselves to... I don't even know how many subs we have. I... Honestly, man, I never pay attention to how many subs we have on the main channel. We're at 344,000. It's not going fast enough, bro. It's just not going fast enough. We, we got to get more subs in. Subscribe to me now, all right? Tell your friends. Anyways, here we go. Let's talk about fan objectives. Actually, no, we're going to talk about fan objectives while we were in-game because Biscuit had a great edit uh, yesterday with the way he fit in the fan objectives. Loved it, mate. Well, I got it going on. What can I say? Boring with it. In the last episode, I said that Real Madrid would probably get past Chelsea because they have more experience. But my God, Chelsea outdid them massively. Kai Havertz and N'Golo Kante masterclass. It was unbelievable to watch. It felt like I was watching Liverpool, but they actually won the game, you know? Like, because Liverpool, most of the time, they score a goal. And then they get more and more chances and the opponents come back and score and even win the game. Or Liverpool has a thousand chances, don't score, and the opponent comes across once and score and win. So Chelsea had 50,000 chances in that match and hit the post like three times or something. And uh, they still managed to win. So congratulations, man. That was a massive matchup for them. They have done extremely well. Now, we got to look at one thing. Uh, we got to look at numbers because you guys were saying... Love how Jenny was saying he needs to change Mambimi's number and he still hasn't changed it. Very true. Let me change the number of my main man, Mambimbi. We're going to give him number... I'm going to give him number 10, man. Number 10 is going onto the back of Mambimbi. There's also a comment that went along with my Real Madrid comments. Uh, Vanda says, Jenny says, Real Madrid will make the final. They're more experienced team. Tuchel says, hold my cup, uh, clipboard. <laughs> I mean, bro. Yeah, I don't like Tuchel. Look, let me be real. I personally do not like Tuchel. I find him to be very arrogant, and that's what I don't like about people. But maybe he will calm down a little bit. But in his first season at Chelsea, he's already made it to the Champions League final. And there's a good chance of them winning it, man. Don't I don't underestimate Chelsea now. For me, in my eyes, Chelsea right now is the second best team in England, right? We all know that Manchester United is second right now. But I think for the next season, Chelsea is definitely better set up than United, in my opinion. As we get a chance to finesse it. I love the finesse shots in this team. I love the long shots in this team. You're going to see me do them over and over again. Up against Augsburg here, seventh position. We got to get this dub. We got to secure it. Lately, our opponents have been getting better and better. As you guys know, I've changed sliders once again, which means our gameplay is getting harder and harder as we do move through the, uh, the coach to glory, uh, which will make it harder to achieve objectives and stuff as well. But at the end of the day, it's for your viewing enjoyment. Part of this, you're normally supposed to be a good long shot taker, you know? Ooh, there's an opening. Angelino not paying attention on that side. Augsburg in the attack with some nice moves. Knight, please get the ball off of this dude. I can't by the looks of things. 
Okay, Augsburg is going a bit too crazy here. Gulashi makes the save. A very powerful shot being saved there. That could have easily been 1-0 to our opponents. Oh my god, what a pass. What a freaking pass, bro. Oh my lord. Whoa. I can't believe that pass. That was insane. One of the best passes that I've ever seen the AI play. Wow, man. We're actually down 1-0. We're down to Augsburg. This is a big surprise to me. But let's talk about fan objectives. Red Bull Rage. We're still chasing it down. Obviously, once we played against Bayern already, it's looking all right for us at the moment. Ah, that should have been... That could have been a goal. Mamimi was making a good run there. History Books is not looking too good. I need Mamimi to score a lot more goals for me. Isak has been dominating the goal scoring on our side so far. And he might again. He might again. Was he offside? He was. Man... Placeholders only is on 8 out of 30. The boys need to step up their game, especially Orellano. Isak's Revenge, we still haven't played Dortmund, so I'm looking forward to that one. Should be fun. Um, you Have Been Denied is on 3 out of 5. Uh, 3 out of 15, sorry. Uh, we will still work on that one. Come on, Mambimi. Come on, Mambimi. What a terrible pass, Isak, you know? And uh, Looking for Options is on 0 out of 5. Still no assists for Lookman, which is a bit crazy. I can't even touch the ball. That's how insane Augsburg is, man. Look at them. They're time-wasting. At the end of the first half, there's just time-wasting around the box. This is crazy. There we go. Finally, the first half is done. We are being dominated by Augsburg. There's nothing else I can say. I am just not performing well enough against them. 35% possession. That's horrible. It's really bad. Angelino struggling, getting it back finally. Down the left, Paredes into Isak. Isak wants Mambimi to make that diagonal run. Was he offside? He's not offside. Wait, he was offside? Oh, man. This, I am just, I'm playing every single pass into the offside right now, and I'm not enjoying it one bit. Oh, go on, Angelino. Massive. Angelino. Isak, why is he not shooting? Why does it take him half an hour to shoot? Man, we need to score a goal. Augsburg, man, they're doing bits here. I can't believe this. Come on, lads. Mambimbi, that's the run. Great pass. Isak into Mambimbi. Oof, that touch was a little bit too far, but we'll take it. 75th minute. Mambimbi is back to scoring. He has the number 10 back on his shirt, and he gets it done. Beautiful pass from Isak this time around. He doesn't miss. Come on, Mambimbi. Beautiful strike, buddy. Now, we got to go ahead and make some changes. Some players are tired. It's time for Huang Hichan, Lukman. And uh, I like Suchek. He's, he's fine. I think he's fine to play. I think I'm going to bring on Pavar for Konate. Yep, I'm going to do that. I want to I wanna secure the dub. Or secure at least one point. Big steal, Pavar. Love that. Mambimbi. Bang Ichan. Bang Ichan. Mambimbi. Bang. Let no. What? How does he save that? Oh, how does that hit the post? And. Really? Come on. That was so well played by our team. It was incredible. Pavard, once again, great tackle. He plays so much better at center back. It's unreal. Mambimbi, you're going to get this pass. You're going to play it back. You're going to get in behind the defender. Lookman, Mambimbi. What? Yeah, literally, exactly, bro. Exactly. How does he not score this? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Look at that passing play. I'm going to lose this, am I not? They are going to get one more chance. No, the ref blows the whistle. It's a draw against Augsburg, and it's well-deserved. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at seeing how good they were. Nothing that I ever expected going into this game. Got dominated possession-wise. Had more chances, but couldn't score the goals. They were the more efficient team. They take off two points off of us here, which gives an opportunity to Dortmund to get closer to us in the league table. Let's see if they did. Do they show, it, show us the games that Dortmund had or do we not get to see it? I guess we're not getting to see it here. Um, we're going to go straight into the main menus, I'm assuming. Yep, we do. Did Dortmund catch up? Napoli and us on nine points in the Champions League group stages. But this is what I'm interested in. Dortmund is on 27 points. They haven't played yet. They're playing at home. They're going to win. They're going to win, boys. They're going to get, they're gonna get what, two points behind us or something? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention there, but... 
That's tough. That's not an ideal situation to be in. Dynamo Kiev up next. Has to be a win. Has to be a win. It's a win. Orellano finally scores. Angelino and Mambimbi getting it done as well. Champions League football went into our favor as Napoli only picks up a draw, which officially puts us into the knockout stages of Champions League football, I believe, guys. We have done it. Beautiful scenes. Dortmund, again, two points behind us, as expected. Uh, Parades here is wanting a new development plan. Let's give him the box to box and see how things go there. But this has been a very interesting episode already. I can't believe Augsburg took some points off of us. Now we got some games to get past. We got Freiburg coming up next. Freiburg is in which position? 17th. Yeah, the team is fit enough for this. Come on, lads. I want to see Mambimbi keep on scoring. He is on form. Plus five in his rating. And he scores, but we lose. Even though we kind of dominated this game. What is going on? Why is the team underperforming all of a sudden? Bayern Munich winning their game. Dortmund winning their game. And we have now lost. We have lost first place. Within just two games. I thought everything was going so well. And by the looks of things, Soboslai doesn't have any potential left, guys. 84 is the max rating he gets to. He's not going to grow anymore. And that's very sad to see. That is extremely sad to see. We would need to get into the new season to see his potential go up. So maybe, just maybe, we can use our 100 million to bring in someone in that left wing position and uh, see them grow because Soboslai is stuck and... I, I, want, I want players to keep on growing, you know? That's that's what I enjoy most about these career modes. I don't know how the hell that happened, that matchup against Freiburg, but we're up against Köln now. I mean, come on, guys. Köln. Köln in the cup. In the cup? What? We're out of the cup. We're out of the... Huh? I've never been this confused in my life. What is going on? Köln is not even in our league. How did... It's a second division team. No treble for us, boys. No treble at all. We actually bottled it against the second division side. Ah, uh, bro, I... I, I am, I'm at a loss for words now. Well, now we have a game coming up against Hiata. We got to refocus and um, get rid of those of that bad morale in the team. The players are obviously not too happy with those losses. That's for sure. The form is not really going up. The team is underperforming. Not happy, man. Not happy. I need to turn things around. We are four points behind Dortmund. If we don't win this game, Dortmund might just run away with this whole thing. They are currently on only no losses. No losses at all. But in about two weeks, we're playing against them. So let's step up our game against Hiata, get a good win and see how things go from there. They are playing in a 3-4-3 formation, which we might be able to use to our advantage because their wingers here, De La Cruz and Luque Bacchio, are not necessarily defensive players. So we might be able to abuse the wings a little bit. This has to be turned around, uh, if we can, with a clean sheet. The Hata is not going to be easy. Fourth in the league. And since we changed the sliders, the teams have been smacking us around. And uh, that is very surprising to see. Soboslai, here we go. Straight off the bet. Come on, Soboslai. Get it done by yourself. Show some strength. Show some power. That's what I like to see, man. Good stuff from him. Bambimbi at the near post. I don't know if he can get to this, but he will try. That's for sure. Ooh, that's a great ball. Dil Rosun has a good left foot on him as far as I can remember. He's doing bits here and Suchek comes in flying. Beautiful. Down to the right we go. Here goes the counter attack with Orellano. Now making a run in behind. Orellano, come on now. This has to be something, right? This has to be something. Orellano, outside the box. The left foot of dreams. Oh my god, what a finish. Oh, hold on. We still have the chance. Alexander Isak. Man, Oriana deserved that one. That was such a good finesse from him. He hits the crossbar. So unlucky. I think it might be like the third time Oriano has hit the crossbar from a position like that. But guys, it's a goal after all. We earned this one. We really did. We had multiple chances already in the first couple of minutes. And now Alexander Isak gets his eighth goal of the Bundesliga season. Good for him, man. Very good for him. I need to up the form of this squad. That's the most important thing. These guys need to go up in their form to get wins again in simulations. That's a great ball. Mambimbi. CZ Sacks run. That's another one. That's another one. Mambimbi Isak. 
the partnership of dreams, bro. Uh, maybe he's going to have 50 assists by the end of the season. The guy might not score, but he's getting loads, loads of assists, as you guys can tell. He's pretty impressive at the moment. There's nothing to complain about with Mambimbi, man. He has the number 10 now. He plays like a number 10. He's always the first player that I play the ball to when it goes into the attack because he has that great passing play. And Isak has great attack positioning, making great runs. 2-0 up against Hata. Didn't expect this, but I'm loving it. And now you're good steal and straight into the attack. Mambimbi, look at that. That's it, bro. They're all over the place now. Hata is falling apart and Mambimbi's shot power has increased so much ever since the beginning of this career mode. If you guys remember, Mambimbi's shot power was horrific. His shots were weak. And now he's out here getting assists and goals. A counter-attack of dreams kicked off by Jason Denier with a great steal in our defense and straight away he looks forward and our two strikers are always ready. This game is done. Can we keep the clean sheet though? Please do so. Yes, boys. Well done. Mambimi misses a pen in the second half, but it's fine. He had an incredible game here. We are already through into the next round of the Champions League, so I'm not worried about the result in this matchup. It only matters that we go through into the next round. Ozimen, Ocampos, Insigne, Zielinski, Fabian, Ward, Prowse as the captain of this team. The reserves team is going to take over on this one. I do expect to lose. No worries. Yep, I was fully expecting that. That's fine, though. We are through into the knockout stages of Champions League football. And that is all that matters at the end of the day. Our first team is getting a little bit of um, rest time before the big match against Dortmund coming up after this next matchup that we have in two days, I think. I just wanted to see how many goals did Mamimi score so far? Mamimi has nine. Isak has 10. So not looking bad, man. Seven goals in the Bundesliga, nine goals in the Bundesliga. The guys are doing all right. And assists-wise, they actually have the same amount. Interesting. I thought uh, Mamimu would have had more, but he's performing. And he's getting better and better in these last episodes. Leipzig is 17th in the league. I've put every player on good form in the first team. And the reserves team is doing good as well. I, I, want, I want something good here. It's a 3-0 win for Leipzig. Come on. Bielefeld, 17th. Couldn't get it done. Did I say Leipzig is 17th? I might have said it that way. But Pavar getting a goal. Brobby and Luckman getting something done as well. Very nice to see as Bayern win their matchup. Bayern is up there now fighting for that spot. And guys, look at that. 36 points on Dortmund. Have they lost the game on how come that we got past them? No, they haven't. If they beat us, they will be ahead of us. As you guys know, we have an objective of Alexander Isak getting three goals against Dortmund this season. We only have the Bundesliga games because we have already lost in the cup. We're out of it. We now have to try and get the goals against Dortmund with Isak in a massive matchup of the two giants in the Bundesliga. This is where things get very, very interesting. Oh, there you go. They have actually overtaken us. They played their 15th game now. 39 points. One point ahead of us. I'm ready. Leipzig boys are ready for this big matchup, guys. I am ready for this. I want to take over with Issa. He's up against his former side. Obviously, Dortmund coming up with a very, very strong team. If we take a look at it right here, it's Haaland versus Issa. The two Nordic players up against each other. Hazard, Valerdi, Brandt, Dahoud, Jaden Sancho, Davies, left back, Emre Can, captain at centre back, alongside John Stones and Reese James at right back. With Magnon in goal, the team has changed loads. I do not see Marco Royce in here. Got to be very careful with the likes of Haaland. There he is. He plays it. And it lands. Oh, I don't know about that one, Gulashi. I don't know about that one, man. That's that's bad. That's a horrible goal con to concede. Ah, it was it was such a p roller. He could have easily picked that up. I think he didn't need to like bounce it off of himself. I'm not too happy with Gulashi there. Haaland with a great through ball. I don't know what he thought of there, but ah, if Gulashi lets that through, I think Angelino clears it as well. That makes it even worse. And the ball goes right through Angelino, man. 11 goals for Jadon Sancho in the league so far. He has more goals than our strikers. We're down against Dortmund. We are not allowed to lose this. If we do, they are far away from us immediately. Four points lead for Dortmund. 
I would love to give them their first loss of the season. And we're going to try. We're going to keep on trying. Orellano, do something. Do something, bro. Take part in these games, please. Mambimbi into Orellano. Orellano inside. Isak, let's go. We're back into the game. And Isak has one goal against Dortmund. His former team, he steps up against them. They didn't see his value. He went over to Spain, played for Real Sociedad, had a couple of really good seasons, got picked up by us. And now he is the beast for our squad. Orellano finally doing something in these games. It's so sad to, to, to see him not really take part. 10 goals for uh, Isak in this one so far in the Bundesliga. Great start into this game. Back and forth between both teams. This is what I like to see. Orellano left by himself here. Orellano plays it. Mbimbi gets taken out. Penalty. <laughs> Emre, let's go, buddy. Thank you so much. Emre Can with the penalty, guys. That is just a big mishap for Dortmund's defense. Very unnecessary. And of course, I'm going to take this with Isak, bro. What do you think? Isak, please, please, please just score this, bro. Just score this, all right? Let's go! 2-1! Alexander Isak with two! One more needed. One more needed. Can he get the hat-trick? Can he get it done in this game already? The comeback is on. Leipzig fans going crazy. Love to see that. Great performance by the team. Good show of resilience after going down 1-0 to a very unnecessary goal in my opinion and uh 11 goals for Isak same amount as Jaden Sancho now Mambimbi with a little bit of space plays it through Isak with the back heel Mambimbi with the pass Isak again oh there was this was looking nice you know oh look at that the Rabona pass <laughs> the boys are playing nice with each other I like that part of this looking for a run part of this gonna get it back into Mambimbi Mambimbi sees Isak for the hat-trick. Alexander, the great. Yes, from now on, we're going to call him Alexander the Great. He has done it again. It's 3-1. Beautiful passing play from midfield into attack. And Dortmund is in ruins. They are falling apart as we speak. Mambimbi gets another assist. The powerful strike of Alexander goes into the top of the net. No chance for the keeper. Three goals. Objective done. Can't believe that we've done it in one match. But we have done it. 12 goals now for Isak. Dortmund, I don't know what happened to you, bro. But you suck right now. Uh-oh. Jaden? Jaden? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is the Gulashi, I know. Julian Brandt trying to get one back right before halftime. Would have been a crucial moment. Great play by Jaden Sancho, actually. But uh, Gulashi once again goated between the sticks. 3-1 first half. Great first half. Didn't believe that we could make it back this way, but we did. 45 minutes to go to secure the dub. Isak up to an 86, by the way. Haaland against Denier. Denier struggling against the Beast. And Haaland struggling against Gulashi. He has once again saved us. And Gulashi steps up again. Bro, this guy deserves a medal for his incredible goalkeeping. Here goes Orellano into Mambimbi. Mambimbi has a plan. And that plan is to lob this player, whoever this is. Oh, Mambimbi gets ruined and he gets injured. No, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, this could be very bad, guys. We could be losing our Mambimbi for a long time. So let's get a goal with him. Ugh, oh, messed it up again. Good pressure, though. I love the pressure on these guys. Ooh. Oh, free kick from a very dangerous position. Haaland about to take it. I wonder if he has it in him. I feel like he's going to play it short. He takes it. Oh. Okay. I see you, buddy. It's not quite a hat trick, but it's a big goal for Haaland. Dortmund are back into the game with a beautiful strike. I mean, that was pretty impressive, man. Beautiful angle to look at it here. And they switch it for no reason at all. But we're going to we're going to watch it from a different angle. I guess we're going to be behind the goal here in a second. Take a look at that. Wow, that's perfect precision. Unbelievable free kick from Haaland, man. It's 3-2. This game is not over yet. And because of that, we're going to make some changes. It's time for my main man, Kukchu, to come in and have an impact. 82 rated now. Um, we're also going to be bringing on Fangi Chan for Isak. Isak has done enough in this game. 
And the rest is fine. Yeah, actually, you know what? Lookman on the left. Let's see how he does. Suchek, Haaland. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I love you, Gulashi. I love you, Gulashi. You're the best goalkeeper I ever used. I honestly don't know how the hell he saved that, but Gulashi is doing bits for me right now. Without him, it would be Dortmund winning this game. This guy, unbelievable. We have Orellano making a great running behind. Orellano again, taking part in this beautiful attack with Wang Yichan in the middle. I was maybe hoping to get it on top of him there, but it didn't work out. Is that going to be Mambimi in the near post again? Yeah, we're going to put Denier in there. Denier near post. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Get in there. Jump. Let's go. El Capitan. The goalkeeper. What's he doing? Bro. <coughs> Are you okay? Are you okay, bro? Hey, man. You all right? <laughs> you all right? I don't think you are. I honestly don't think you are. I don't know what the hell the goalkeeper was thinking, but he's not thinking straight. That's for sure. He has to come out for that cross. It's in like it's in his face. He has to come out for that. Denier, look at that jump. Van Dijk-esque. You love to see it. He actually heads it over the goalkeeper. Magnol just chills and watches him. Why did he not come out? That is the decider, boys. Jason Denier, the captain, steps up. 4-2. That should be the win. So check. Let's go. Into... Ooh, no one. <laughs> Into absolutely no one. Jaden Sancho. Another skill move from the big boy. 4-3. This game is not done yet. I thought it was done. It is not done yet. Kudus gets the goal. Incredible skill move again from Jaden. And then he finds the right pass once again. Gulashi is going to be very angry if we don't get this win because he has done everything he can. He made a mistake at the beginning, but he made up for it 10 times over. Mukele, love that. And here we go. Mambimi giving some space. Oriano, if only you could play a straight pass, man. That's tough. Haaland, Haaland running through. I can't stop him. He scores in the 90th minute. I cannot believe that. No, I'm not going to watch you celebrate, bro. I, oh, man, really? This game was done. This game was done, man. We had it finished. Honestly, we did. Bang Hee-chan, last attack of the game. We're going to try our best here. Why is no one joining in? Hello, guys. We're playing. We're still playing, you know? You guys can still join in here. Oh, go on. I'm Bimbi. Passing to Kukju. Kukju has done wonders in the previous games. And no foul given. That's it. It's 4-4. What the hell is that scoreline? Ah, Haaland. Alexander Isak with the hat-trick is probably extremely disappointed to see that the team hasn't picked up the three points. Dortmund has turned out to be a, an opponent that is on our level, man. A worthy opponent. A very good team with more shots on target, more possession. I guess they would have deserved even more. If we didn't have our main man in goal, we would have definitely lost this game. I can't believe we scored four goals and only take a draw from this game. That is not good enough for me. Defensively, we should have done better. But we didn't lose. And we got an objective done. So there's a couple of upsides to this game. Not against Schalke. Easy game, right? Easy game. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know anymore. We're on 39 points. Dortmund on 43. Four points ahead of us. It, it, I keep on losing against teams that are outside of the top 10. Like, what is happening? That's not how it's normally. Like, I don't understand. Is is it the sliders? Do, do the sliders affect simulations? I don't know, but we're in a transfer window now, guys. 100 million to spend. Transfer window episode. Soboslide picked up a red card. No wonder we lost that game. We're down to 10 men. Ah, Mukela up to an 88. Um, Parades 85. Isak 86. I am looking... I am in the market for a left wing. I am. I am in the market for a left wing, guys. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Soboslai, as good as he is, um, I am looking to improve the team in one position and one position only. And that looks to be the left wing position right now. Soboslai development plan, you can see it for yourself. It takes him a freaking two, three seasons to get up by plus one. So... Um, because we need the players to be great now. I am looking to replace him. Yes, Orellano has performed 
Not as well as Sobo Slide. That is clear to see. But I love Orellano. <laughs> and that's, that's simple as that. So if you guys have any suggestions for a player that could come into this team, not be too unrealistic, but be a great addition to the squad in terms of uh, strengthening it up and add another layer to our squad, necessarily a more agile, a more a better dribbler than Soboslai. Soboslai is a cam. He's not a left wing in my opinion. He's definitely a cam. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I am ready to take part in any crazy, crazy transfer. 100 million to spend. Transfer window is ready to go. And we gotta turn this season around. It was going so well until this episode. Thank you guys though for watching. It's been a pleasure. I will catch you guys next time. Have a good day. Take care and peace.